running. Um, got something for you. <laughs> Start the grueling process of removing seven-year-old Autoflex liquid wrap. Yeah, so and then ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get right into it. Now the problem is in certain areas, it's like semi-pillable, but it's been on here so long that it's so brittle that every time you go to pull a piece, it pretty much just like. It's, it's just brittle. It comes off in little pieces. So typically, it would just peel off by hand, whole car. But with it being so old, and me, this is like the first experience that I've had with something this old. Like, I just recently peeled my wife's car, which was five years, and that was a little bit of a process. So this one is uh, gonna be probably about the same. So my plan is, I actually have a solution that will actually reliquify the base and I can just pressure wash it off. Where the problem is, is where everywhere where there's still gloss coat is gonna be the issue because the chemical doesn't work on the gloss coat. It only works on what's underneath the base coat. So what I'm gonna try to do is take the pressure washer, blast off any more gloss that I can. And if I can expose all of the base coat, then I'm fine. Where I run into the issue is if I cannot get the gloss coat off, then I'm gonna be doing a combination of sanding and using chemicals, which is gonna be a long process. But for the sake of restoring the great Kush, it's gotta be done. Ah, this thing's in rough shape. percent of the sanding done um <laughs> I ain't gonna lie it was a lot of work and I still got a lot more work to do but I'm one step closer so that being said there's still a couple rough spots that I need to take care of but like I said it's like 90 to 95 percent done um the quarter panels are the next major thing um when it comes to rust repair I'm not even gonna lie to you not even close to being able to do that on my own. So I'm fortunate enough to be able to have a body shot right across the street from me. Um, I could do a lot of stuff, but rust repair is not one of them. It requires either some cutting and welding, or in my case, I opted for the fiberglass option. So we're gonna do fiberglass. Um, I'm getting ready to take off the rear bumper, the tail lights, and the mirrors. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Hey, me and Clutch K got the, got the prelude masked off, man. We're ready for some primer. So, I think I showed you guys the bodywork on the quarter panels. Um, and the hood, I actually went to uh, another um, looter's house. Um, 
earlier in the week. And he had two preludes that he was, one he was parting out. And so I grabbed some pieces that I was missing. I grabbed the OEM tail lights, the front bumper, rear bumper. And I actually did grab uh, the hood off of that car too, thinking it was gonna be in better shape than the one I had. But it ended up needing even more work than the one I had on there already. So uh, we just pretty much just took the time to knock this one out. But as you can see, yeah, you know I me. Mean? Ready for some primer. Got it all masked off. We just gotta cover the wheels up. But uh, I was trying to get some black uh, 2K primer, but apparently nobody has it in stock for whatever reason. So I gotta use the traditional gray, which is cool. And um, we're gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? What you doing over here, cuz? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Looking at parts. Looking at parts. You already know. Right. I need you to go ahead and give me one of these motors you got over here in the, in the 822 factory. Right. Welcome to Treby Dippin' JDM factory. <laughs> we got F20Bs for days. Yeah. We got Euro R's behind there. We got another F20B fully built. Mm -hmm. We got, oh, we got transmissions for days. We got T2, T4s. You know what I'm saying? Drive shaft, shop. Uh, Dang. axles, Dang. insane shaft. Oh yeah, I do. Got, to be honest with you, oh, that's the hood I was telling y'all about. If I, I got parts up there. I mean, it's it's just it's ridiculous, bro. Matter of fact, the whole reason why I even built the apocalypse was because I had parts left over from the clear hood prelude so much that I had enough to build a whole entire other prelude. But anyway. Hit that like button, share it to a Prelude lover. I know you know 16 billion people who love Preludes. You know at least 12,000, because 12,000 of you subscribe. Send this to somebody and get them hit to the restoration project. With that being said, I'll catch y'all on the next one. You see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I like the ride in my two-seater.